Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is Warmel. So let's start with Warms. Wow, there's an M in place on the right. What is it? What? That's pretty lucky, actually. Um, why do I want to guess yummy? Like, of all the things that I thought of, I want to guess yummy there. Um, there must be something better. Probably something ending in an E. So something like chime is definitely better. Um, and now I'm wanting to guess time. All right, we'll guess chime. All right, maybe I should have guessed yummy. Um, what else can we do here? I could look at this left word. The R's in the middle, there's an A somewhere. The thing is, I'm just not going to get as much info from the left guess compared to the right guess. The common letters left are T, N, L. There's also the vowels O and U. Hmm. Is there like an O U M word? The o U N D is really common. O U M, I'm not seeing it. Like, I mean, I could guess something like tummy, but <laughs> I don't really want to guess another M because I might as well just guess the left word at that point because that second M is not going to help the left word. The Lorax. <laughs> what am I going to guess on the left? Let's see. It's, it's kind of like, I feel like the A might be at the end, like RTA or something. The A not being second is really throwing me off here. Or it could be like A something R, obviously, but apron. Let's guess apron. Okay, still nothing on the right. Uh, but let's see what this left word probably is. Um, O-R-A maybe? Ending an oral, moral, no. I don't see another O R A L word. Yeah, I don't. That's weird. You think there'd be more? Um, o R A or O R something A? Like O R T A? It's it's another pronounceable thing that doesn't seem to have a word. Uh, what else are we doing here? They need torta is a Spanish word. Um, I don't want to really guess that double T, and I don't think it's going to be the answer. Although dortle is weird. Um, maybe I should think about this right word. I mean, watch it end up being yummy. I mean, tummy is probably a better guess for certain definitions of better. Um. Sure, I'm going to guess tummy and see where that leads me. Oh my gosh, is it yummy? Well, there's the, it's the ummy trap. So we've got yummy, we've got gummy, we've got dummy. So DG, Y DG. Got to put the Y first if I'm going to test it. This is tough. I, I should probably think about what the left word is too. Um, I don't think there's another ummy trap word, is there? No, I don't see it. Gummy, dummy, yummy. Um, it could really be any of those. Uh, like it's tempting to guess something like godly. I mean, that Y is not helpful, but it gets the GD. Um, what would we guess on the left that could possibly use one of those letters? Um, I think I might be asking too much, but I still think it's O-R-A. <laughs> Or or A at the end. Like that just feels like that's where that would go. Um it's not torta, so that was the only thing I'd thought of that actually it could get locked in at this point. Um Forza Motorsports. <laughs> it accepts that. That's funny. I don't think it would be the answer, would it? <laughs> um it's not a good guess for the right. Um Okay, if I do a really good filler for the right. That might help the left, but I try to avoid fillers in Dordal if I can. I like that extra difficulty. Um, but I'm going to have to do a filler because already I could I could lose just doing guessing on dummy, gummy, yummy, right? So I have to do a filler. Godly's not horrible. It tests the O second on the left. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's lock in gummy. So at least we get one word. And then it is O-R, 
And then the A somewhere on the right. Um, Forza is still available. <laughs> um, this is a tough one, actually. Okay, I'm going to look at this for a little bit. What would we start with? F O R A, Fora, no, Jora, Cora, Zora, Bora, Bora. What's this? Could it be double R? I don't see that being a word. Like flora is a word, but definitely not that. Is this one of those weird dortle words, or am I just not seeing something obvious? I'm, I'm surprised it accepts Forza. All I know that is that it's the uh, the video game Forza, the racing game. Um, maybe that means something. I don't know. I never really thought about it. Orva. All right, I probably would lose if I guessed Forza, right? Uh, okay, I guess I'll lose. What was it? Borax? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I know Borax. Just didn't think about it. Not enough guesses. All right. I'm trying to think what I could have done better, but... I mean, can always just do a better start and or not play hard mode, but I feel like all my guesses were somewhat reasonable. Honestly, if I'd just gone with my instinct and guessed yummy at the start, I would have been much better off. <laughs> but, you know, there it is. All right. Let's do Fibble. Um, ooh, how do I want to handle this? Because I usually like to... Ooh, if I just did rainy, that actually works, amazingly. Okay. So one of these eyes is lying, definitely. So there is an R in the word. There is an A in the word. There's no N in the word. Do we end in Y? I mean, if we were like an A-R-R-Y word, I'd have to bring in something from Rainy, and I can't bring in the N. So it just doesn't work. Um, in fact, what would I bring in from Rainy? Okay, these, there is an R in the word, there is an A in the word. So maybe there's just no Y. So maybe if I did something like an A, R, something, something, that would just work. Um, why did Fargo come to mind? Let's do Largo. <laughs> wow. Uh, larva? That was it. <laughs> Easy. All right. Larva is a tough word. Okay, I'm much prouder of my Fibble than my Dortle, although I did get Gummy, which I think is the harder... Well, I know Gummy and Borax is just really hard, isn't it? All right, anyway. Uh, again, I do an intro-outro for connections, so don't get surprised by that, because I uh, really sit on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. All right. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Hmm. Why am I thinking like chemistry terms like bond, base, solution, and element? <laughs> I feel like that's a bit too on the nose or not on the nose. I'm not sure how to how to put that, but I'm not going to guess that, but that could be it. Last time we had gross, it was for the sum, summing things. Like gross and range operations on a spreadsheet. The mean and the mo okay. Mean and mode are both averages. Mean, median, and mode are all averages. Would we include range with that? I guess I'll give that a try. There we go. Data set data. <laughs> what? Data set data. Okay. I like spreadsheet things better. All right. Um... I still think bond, solution, base, and element are chemistry terms, but we'll hold off on that still. King is a bit out there, isn't it? Um, could king and like 
King, Gross, and Stern, could those, and Bond, are these are like last names. Or Glass. Like James Bond. Hmm. We've got Howard Stern. We've got Stephen King. We've got James Bond. I don't know. Should I try this? Let's look at the other words. Awful pretty. I know awful and gross are definitely similar. Like these are just adjectives. Awful, pretty, and gross. Is there another adjective? Like rather? What rather is so weird. Real is could be used as an adjective. Um hmm. Or is it always an adjective? Huh. I'm not sure what to do here. Awful and gross or awfully good. You know, you can say awfully to be a good thing and then pretty. Real. You can be based. <laughs> um, hmm. Connections has gotten really hard recently. All right, I'm going to try Bond, King, Stern, and Gross and see if it's like last names. One away. Hmm. Dan Rather? Nope. So gross goes in there. I removed gross, added rather, and it wasn't one away anymore. So rather's not with them. Gross is. So I need to remove bond, king, or stern and add something other than rather. Glass, like Philip Glass. Um, let's get rid of bond and add glass. There we go. Radio Hall of Fame members. Interesting. Okay, sure. <laughs> they just felt like last names to me, so that made sense. Um, so what is we still have solution bond, base and element. Let's try it. Chemistry term. It was chemistry terms the whole time. Oh my goodness! I should have trusted myself. All right, rather real, pretty, and awful. I don't know, like. Descriptors. <laughs> adjective intensifiers. So I was basically right. There were adjectives to intensify. Yeah. So I feel like I did okay on that one. Um, got the purple just by going, these feel like last names to me, <laughs> which is fine. Um, I had the chemistry terms from the start and I didn't have, I didn't lock it in. If I'd locked it in, I think this would have been a bit easier, but there we go. Um, how'd you do today? All right, we're going to do Wormel. The way this game works is each letter. So there's three boats. We're going to start with the normal Wormel, and then we'll do the super, and then the super, super, or whatever they call it. Um, super, ultra, super. Anyway, um, each letter, if it's gray, then you see the, how the keyboard's alphabetical. It means that the letter that goes in that slot is not within three letters alphabetically of that letter. And if it's yellow, then that means it is within three. So you can see on the keyboard here. Oop, you can't see the keyboard. Let me fix the capture. Glad I checked. Uh, it could just be the zoom level. Hold on. Let's see if I can zoom in. It was just the zoom level. OK. And everything looks OK to me, so we'll go with that. All right, so anyway, now you can see the keyboard. You can see this isn't within 3 of E, and then this is within 3 of F. So uh, we need to guess a word that, well, we don't need to, but I like to play everything in hard mode-ish, <laughs> right? So we want to guess a word that's within 
that's not within these ranges. Now, when we get to the harder ones, uh, it's within two and then within one. And of course, green means we got the letter right. So I'm going to try ending it actually. So normally my strategy when you get something like this is to go for the C or the I, right? Go for an extreme because that will segment the clue in half, right? If, if I do C and it's gray, then that means it's not C, D, or E. If I do C and it's yellow, then that means it is C, D, or E, right? If you do something in the middle, you don't eliminate as many. But at the same time, do I want to end in C or I? Like ending in E just feels like the most likely outcome. Unfortunately, if I try ending in E, the other likely things to end with are D, G, and H. So, and those are all within range of the E. So if I can figure out how to end in, like maybe I could do like tunic or something. Does tunic work? No, I can't do U second. Tonic then. Let's try tonic. And the onic trap is a good thing to note. So, okay. So, wow, we got a lot of info. So that's T and N. And then this is D or E. See how the C narrowed us down to only two options. So I'm going to say we end in E because that's more common. Um, so, what would go here? Tinge or something. Yeah. Nice. Got it in two guesses. Um, so now we do the super version. And now it's within two instead of within three. And we get all grays on this one, which is great. Wikvj. Uh, Wikvj. Good word. Um, I like to do letters near S because S is just near a lot of the common letters. R, T, even the vowel U here. Um, so like we could do like S, T. I don't like doing A near A or Z because you don't get less info unless it unless you get lucky, but on average you'll get less info. I think of the vowels, E would be the best thing to use here, but I'm not sure what goes S T E. I could go S T R. And something like strip seems pretty good. Alright, so you can see how I eliminated a ton of letters here. Um a ton of common letters for these slots. So what do I want to do here? Let's try ending an E this time. Maybe like R E. The R is not as as nice here. Um I could do the P I could end in P E. That's not bad. That gets it that catches the O as well. Um What would I what would what word would I do here? Like Would I want to do the U or the A here? I'm not even sure. I could I could look at the A here. Um, but what's the word? Like what would I actually do here? I might I might do something like obviously oh grape. Uh, I th there's no R there though. So let's just put a different letter here. We could do glare. I think that's fine. Alright, the L is second, good. This is near E. C D F or G. Um, is ing is not available, so I, I think ending in g is unlikely. Probably d ending in like nd, um, like blend. Ooh, close. Uh, bleed. Nice. All right, now super warmal we only get within one, so it's kind of a luck game. Um, but we can we can try to increase our chances by starting with letters near s. So like s t. R strip or something? Did I do that last time? I don't know. All right, yeah. So unfortunately, we didn't catch anything. No fish today. All right, let's try again. So I could try ending an E this time. Basically, a similar strategy to last time, which worked out. We could get this O just to catch all the center here. So like O N E or something, um, alone maybe. All right, I got the L and the E, so that that worked out. So this is probably a vowel, almost certainly a vowel. I could try the I or the E or the A or the U. Hmm. I'll I'll, I'll fill the vowel last because it doesn't really matter what I do there. Um, an S here catches the R and the T. So. Now I need to think about the vowel, though. Honestly, I'd want to do an O there. 
It, does A work? Not really. C catches, only catches B and D. Hmm. C is not terrible though. Um, if I can think of a, is is this how you spell fleece? No, it's not. Um. Okay, let's think of maybe a T. Plate. Okay, darn. No catches this time. It's really just about. Trying your luck, getting get as much coverage as you can. Um, let's try an I here then. Or we could try a U, but I mean, there's not going to be a T next to the L anyway. Um, it's just going to be a vowel here. We have to gamble on the vowel. Um, maybe if I did like a D here, that might be good. We catch the C. Um, glide. Okay, I caught the D. Nice. So this is an E or a U. And what goes here? Whatever I see first, I'll just lock in, assuming it's a common common enough word. Uh, Elied? No, actually, that doesn't work. This is E or U. That's weird, isn't it? What goes here? Not, I mean, E-L is pronounceable, but this would be an E or a U, a lead or a lewd. Elude, there we go, that's what it is. Yes, it eluded me for a while, but I did get it. So nice, I won all the warmels. That's, uh, that's nice. Holy greens on the super warm, which isn't all that, in, all that um, rare considering the range <laughs> that gets you the yellow, but still. All right, let's do polygonal. Um, I moved. I'm used to my window being in a certain spot, and for some reason, when I when I had adjusted the capture for Warmo, I put it in the wrong spot. So I just I just fixed it. It's fine. Price is averted. Um, I think this is a, like an S S E I E S type thing. Is it? <laughs> um, maybe not. Uh, maybe like a like an E N S dealy. Or like ANS or INS. Ooh, oh no, I was gonna say passing, but obviously. So if I did ING actually, that seems like like logging or something. Yeah, that should work. Okay. Well, this might be an L. Ooh. As soon as I put it in, I didn't like it. Um if this was S, where would the L go? Is a really good question. I think it would have to go there. Fossils. No, there's no O. Or I. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe not S. Oh, what's going on here? Is it E? And then L here? Like, bleed. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... How does this work? Uh, I don't know if I like vowel there. What do I like here? T? RT? No, I need the L. That's the thing. I feel like I want to put L second, which means I would need a vowel here. And the only vowel that can repeat still is E's. And then we're left with this. And I don't know what to do with that. Like RTE. I can't do RGE. Like that, that, that might, I mean, it's not really a word anyway, but like RGE is a common suffix at least. Um, oof. I kind of need to do a filler, don't I? Because I'm not thinking of any words. All right, we're going to do a filler. Um, so what is our filler today? Seven letters. Poultry's not bad. If I can. Sp oh, yeah. Uses the O, but our other option is maidens, which has two grays. So let's start with poultry. 
right? It, the L is not the repeat. I'm not surprised. The U is not the repeat. I'm not surprised. Um, is this the nail in the coffin for this being E? Yeah. Okay. We're we're gonna do maidens. Maidens was better apparently. Um, so this is an S as I thought it was, and it is muscles. Wow. Okay. Not sure I would have thought of that, <laughs> to be honest. Cool. A lot of ing words. Lessons is fun. Yeah. I wish I thought of something that used the s, but honestly, there's not that much. Like there's there's lessons, there's muscles, which was the answer. Hussars, I don't know what that is. Um. Okay. Cool. Well, let's do the mini. I want to start with lever. Hey, that worked out. Well, the, the V, I got to start with V. Um, v E something. What? Like I'm thinking E D or E S, but no. What does this with the V? Are we playing Fibble? <laughs> um, like vetted? No. Vegged. I don't know. Uh, what, what could possibly go between? Oh, vexed. I was vexed for a while, but I got it. It's the X. <laughs> okay. If I actually used X's as fillers in this game, which actually you don't have to, so I don't, um, I might have gotten it more quickly. All right. Cool. I mean, Vexton 2 is pretty good, I think. Let's do Symbol. We'll start with Blaze, although Vex wouldn't be horrible. Um, L second. So we're going to do Sling. All right. L is not second. We have an N fourth, and the first two letters are the yellow. So what do we want to put? I think I would want to do G, actually. G A or something? G A and then an N or G E and an N? Like what else would I put first? It's not the L. I could put I first, but then what do I I can't follow up the I. It would be I A, I E, I Z or I B. None of those seem great. And then yeah, so I would put the G. And then, yeah, vowel after that, G-A or G-E. But what is this word? Gaunt? Nice. I wouldn't be surprised if gaunt was the only answer left. Let me know if you saw anything else. Cool. Always good to get symbol in three. Hasn't happened in a bit. Yeah, my fives are way outweighing my threes now. All right, let's do the blind fusel. <laughs> oh, no. Gaunt is going to give us a G and an N. Nothing. Okay. Now I have to repeat a letter. Um, let's do tummy <laughs> as an homage to, to to our dortle. Nothing from tummy. Okay. Probably could have been better guesses there, but who knows? Uh, how about shirk for no reason? Okay. So these blues mean that are like the symbol yellows. So maybe we start with R, and then this could be an S. Could it be double S? Um, or S-E. So in this case, there would be no H, I, or K. I'm not allowed to guess I, but there's no I anyway. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing a word for this. We could do K-E. But again, what's the word? Rook? No. Um... H E? Like, oh, I'm not allowed to guess C though. S H? Oh, no, it wouldn't be an S. Um, I could start with H and I could do S E. It's tempting to just guess something like house and move on. Um, it would be nice to guess something that could be the answer. I mean, E doesn't have to be the end, obviously. So I could do like a, I can't do S H. Um, can't end in Y. Like, what else would we end in? 
This is an S H I or K. I could put an I here. Oh, but I can't guess I, so I have to guess something other than that. Oh, okay. Um, S S or S E. I like S E better. And then start with H R or K. Guessing Rouse might be the best option. Okay. It's not an answer, but okay. Well, there are no R's or S's. So this is probably an I, if I had to guess. Um, and then we have an E somewhere, so maybe there. And then this is an H or an I, uh, or a K, I guess, in this case, H or K. Um, helix. Helix. Got it. Nice. <laughs> there have been, okay. There have been so many words with X today. There was borax for the dortle. There, the uh, symbol, no, the polygonal mini was vexed. And now we have helix. Crazy. All right, let's do don't wordle. We're trying to lose. Start with kayak. Mm, okay, all gray kayak. Um, has fluff been working out for me? I feel like maybe there's a better, like, oh, see, kayak gets rid of jazzy, which is a little bit unfortunate. So, like, what would I use? Would something like fuzzy be better than fluff? Not really. I feel like fluff just repeating that F three times is really good. Um, sure, it's been working out for us. We'll do fluff. Ooh, all gray fluff. Very nice. 4,008 words left. That's, that's a great result. Um, now the question is, is there some way to use the Z or the X or something like that? <laughs> the adoptal name was Rizzo yesterday, which is just insane. I don't think it would accept Rizzo. <laughs> um, I did not get it. <laughs> I want to do like ditzy, but that's an S. And also not a good, there's five unique letters. Um, something like mommy would be fine. I think that works just fine. Is Bobby even better? I think it might be. All gray again. Okay. We're going to get an all gray day. Probably impossible to do all gray in this game. Um... Not impossible. Depends on the answer, I suppose. But it, it, it would be very hard. Um, no Y at the end is unfortunate, actually. I think with Y at the end, I'd have an easier time, but let's see. Um, is something like pips a word? No. I think now's the time to do a, a plural, uh, especially if I do something like like double S at the end. Well, that's not a plural at that point, but we're like an S E S. Um, is there like an E S E S word? Not really. Um, how about like if I repeat the S at the start and end? Is there like an, is there something like this? I could guess sixes. That's not terrible, actually. We're gonna have to get the vowels anyway, so. Oh no, okay. Well, we might be able to do this. Um, C's is available, but that could be the answer. Um, how about ending in E? There are eight words, but I don't know what they are. Um, can't repeat the S anymore. Something like like civia word or hmm, I might have to undo sixes, but let's see. I mean, I could guess C's, but I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Uh, oh, C C civ is also an answer. Um, and siege. Okay, so we could gamble it. Let's gamble it. Siege C's. Is there anything that like just is randomly a word like this that I could? Seer, seat, seal, seep. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Z. 
because Z is less common. So obviously this won't be the answer, right? Oh wait, that's not a that's not a word. How do you spell C's? Oh no, now I'm embarrassed. So it's if it's just down to Civ and Siege, then. Okay, it wasn't any of those. Um, it's Singe. Uh, something like Surge a word or Serta. Like there's four words other than, <laughs> there's four words other than Singe available. So, oh, there's also Since. Mm, since and Singe. Is there another letter that could go here? <laughs> I'm trying. Um, since or singe, um, do, 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 do. Or like flip a coin or something. Let's see. You know, I thought I had coins, but oh well, I am not prepared to flip a coin, apparently. Um, who has coins now? Hmm. <laughs> since. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. What were the other words? Sid and Sith. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I would have guessed Sid. Maybe. Maybe I would have tried th there. Who knows? But yeah, I won. I won the fifty-fifty. So. There we go. Cool. Well, those are the games for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Kind of a fun ending there. And of course, if you did enjoy this, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.